The final year of Akira Tenda's life felt like hell. He initially thought he had landed his dream job, only to discover it was worse than slavery. Working overtime on the very first evening and sometimes not making it home until the third day. Since then, Akira lived from call to call, often contemplating whether jumping in front of a train might be easier than enduring this reality. Perhaps that's why he felt a sense of a relief when he finally realized that a full-fledged zombie apocalypse had taken over the world. While ordinary citizens of Japan were contemplating how to escape this horrifying disaster, all that echoed in the young man's mind was one thought. No more work. Buoyed by new prospects, Akira seized everything he had put off until now, creating a list of a hundred things he wanted to do before turning into a zombie. In Japanese works, especially aimed at adults, a common protagonist is a burned-out office worker. This isn't surprising, considering the pressing issue of overwork, to the extent that death from it even has its own term, karoshi. However, more and more often, these unfortunate individuals die and find themselves in another, usually fantasy, world, making liberation from the grind, even in reimagined reality, appear more refreshing. The eponymous scene in manga by Haru Asa and Kataru Takada is much more enticing, not due to its fantastical elements, but precisely because of its scenes of freedom from a long-standing, tiresome job. The movie successfully captured the necessary emotions. The opening scene depicting the onset of the zombie apocalypse shows Akira worrying not about his life, but about the possibility of receiving a reprimand for being late. The film is realistic. It seems that many in similar situation would think the same way. The relief that fell upon Akira's head is intoxicating, altering his perception of the ongoing nightmare drastically. Fueled by newfound prospects, Akira seems to have forgotten about the possibility of death and spends his time in seemingly useless endeavors, venturing out for expensive meats and sauces, impulsively diving into the lair of the dead for his best friend, engaging in seemingly dangerous and futile activities. This is all before he decided to compile the list mentioned in the title. The contrast between the mundane work days and the vibrant post-apocalyptic days is immediately evident to multiple levels. This includes how individuals' characters behave. Akira encountered those who maintain a work-oriented attitude and discipline even in the face of the apocalypse, something that had become intolerable for the main character. Others are fixated on survival and don't see much beyond the bare essentials. Against this backdrop, yesterday's office worker seems remarkably alive, something that saw more than amusing amidst the ubiquitous zombie presence. As often happens, the list turns out to be a tale not about flesh-eating monsters at all. At a certain point, the metaphor is explicitly stated. The mundane life of a mindless office drones is likened to a zombie-like existence. In traditional Japan, where work discipline is held in very high regard, such as a certain appears exceptionally bold. However, the list wouldn't be itself if it didn't present a series of utterly crazy scenes the best of which are worth watching the movie for. We are talking, as you might guess, about the action, the film adaptation, while somewhat more serious than the source material can still pleasantly surprise and entertain. For the truly roof-shattering fun, it's the best to turn the anime adaptation in the same name, which is just gaining momentum and has only shown part of the events from the movie. The live action, however, hasn't lost its seriousness. Some edges may have been smooth, but the overall insane tone has been preserved excellently. Just consider what the final battle alone has to offer. The list turned out to be a kind of a dream of a better life, where even the end of the world doesn't seem that joyless. Unfortunately, the message is relevant for many to the point that one wishes to follow in Akira's footsteps. Not into a world populated by zombies, but on a path to happiness instead of a dreary everyday life. Well, or at least dream of a more joyful future. It's a kind of freedom too, albeit on a smaller scale.